Today I'm sharing two quick and easy crowd-pleasing recipes. I'll be making a creamy bacon cheeseburger dip and sticky chicken wings. So let's get started. So here's what you'll need for the creamy bacon cheeseburger dip. And as always, I'll make sure to link the recipe in the description box. So you'll need some Monterey Jack cheese and cheddar cheese, a half a pound of ground beef, you'll need some bacon, Worcestershire sauce, You'll also need salt, pepper, and garlic powder, or if you wanna to add to that or take away, feel free. Cream cheese and onions. So we're gonna start off by frying up our bacon. So I've got my bacon going, and normally when I use bacon for a recipe, I tend to bake it in the oven, but in this case, you really wanna pan fry it because you need that bacon grease to fry up your onion and your ground beef. It's gonna lend a really good flavor to the dish. So I'm just gonna let this continue to cook up and then I'll show you what comes next. Okay, so my bacon is ready and I've got it draining. And to my skillet, I'm going to add my onions. And by the way, I did drain most of the fat from the bacon but I did leave some of that bacon grease in the, in the uh, pan. So I'm adding my onions and I'm gonna add my ground beef. I'm using a lean ground beef and I'm just going to let this cook up. Okay, so the ground beef is done. Let's start putting everything together. So in my bowl, I have the eight ounces of cream cheese, which by the way, I forgot to mention, is softened and at room temperature. I'm gonna put my ground beef in and it's been drained. And so I'm gonna add my seasonings and my Worcestershire sauce and I'm going to add in the majority of my bacon and the majority of my cheese. You're gonna leave a little bit because you're gonna wanna put that on top. We're actually gonna be baking this, so it's gonna be delish. And you're just gonna give it a good stir. All right, so I got everything all mixed up and I have, I think this is like a one and a half quart casserole dish that I have greased and I'm just putting my mixture inside of it. And you're just gonna top it with some additional cheese and bacon. Okay, so I am going to pop this in the oven uh, for about 15, 20 minutes or until that cheese is nice and bubbly. Okay, so here is the dip hot out of the oven. I garnished mine with a little bit of fresh parsley. You could also use some chopped pickles if you like pickles. I am serving mine with some warm tortilla chips. You could also use Fritos, potato chips, or even waffle fries. So I hope you all enjoyed this recipe. If you try it out, I'd love to know what you think. So now we're gonna make the sticky chicken wings. So you will need soy sauce, teriyaki sauce, Creole seasoning, ground mustard, brown sugar, and two pounds of chicken wings. And as always, I'll make sure to leave the recipe in the description box. So I'm gonna start off by adding in my brown sugar. And next I'm going to add in my teriyaki sauce, my soy sauce, Cajun seasoning or Creole seasoning, excuse me, and my ground mustard. And I'm just gonna give this a good stir. Next, you're gonna pour your sauce over your wings. And just toss your wings to make sure that they are evenly coated. Next, you're gonna cover your wings and then you're going to place them in the refrigerator for about an hour. So it's been about an hour and a half. I've got my wings here. I've got a cookie sheet lined with foil. I sprayed a little bit of cooking oil on it. 
All I'm gonna do is just place my wings on the cookie sheet. Okay, so I have my oven preheated to 375 degrees, and all you're gonna do is bake these for about 40, 45 minutes or until they're golden brown. And another thing I wanted to mention, if you wanted to reserve some of that marinade, um, set it aside before you put the chicken in it, you can, and you can use that to baste your wings afterwards if you'd like. But let's go to the oven. So here are the wings. I baked them for exactly 40 minutes and I let them cool a little bit. That sauce thickened up, but there's not a ton of sauce. So if you like a lot of sauce, like I said earlier, I would definitely recommend um, just setting aside some of that sauce to add them to the wings once they come out of the oven. And even though I added a good amount of Creole seasoning, they're really not that spicy. So if you like a lot of spice, you'd probably wanna add a little bit more Creole seasoning. So I hope you all enjoyed both of the tasty recipes I shared today. If you did, please make sure to give us a thumbs up. And if you have not subscribed to our channel, we'd certainly love to have you. Thanks so much for watching and we'll see you all next time.